Good morning, everybody. This is a tutorial meant to help you get started as we introduce ourselves to dividing decimals. This first activity um, follows the videos about dividing decimals visually. You're given visual area models. So here we see a hundredths grid, right? And so I know that each one of these smallish boxes is one one hundredth of the whole square, which means that 10 of them make one tenth of the whole square. So one column is a tenth or one full row is a tenth. So the problem it says is 88 hundredths divided by two, the whole number two. So in other words, I have to break up these 88 hundredths into two equal groups. So one way I could do that is, let's see here, draw. One way I could do that is I could um, first take all the whole columns, all the whole tenths, and divide those up into two equal groups. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whole columns. So that means four of them, four of them make half of that, and then I'll use red, and then another four make another half of that. All right, that only leaves me now with these, that leaves me with these eight, what color is gonna be good, maybe black. It leaves me with these, let's see, eight. I know it's eight because I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but also because I know there's 10 in the column and two of them aren't highlighted. So I see eight there. And I can divide those in half. So I'll divide uh, those into one group of four and another group of four. And so now I have in yellow 40 hundredths plus four is 44 hundredths. And in red I have 40 hundredths. It's four times 10, right? 40 hundredths plus four more, 44 hundredths. So I have two equal groups of 44 hundredths. And so that's what I'm gonna put into my answer. I'm gonna put zero and 44 hundredths. And then I'm gonna hit check. There we go. That's one way to divide visually. Now I'll do one more question with you, okay? Here's another visual model, a number line model, okay? And this follows the other video you watched just before this um, activity. Now, if you didn't watch the videos yet, please do, because they go over. Sal talks about both of these models, the area model and the number line model. And of course, if you are stuck too, you can always, you can always watch a video or use a hint, right? Of course. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. The problem says six tenths, six tenths divided by two. And we already have some part of the work set up for us. So if we take a look at what we have, we have a number line that starts at zero and goes to one. So that's one whole. And it looks like we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So each of these little marks represents tenths. That's one tenth. That's one tenth. They're all tenths. Of course, the other way to write one tenth is one tenth, right? One tenth and one tenth and one tenth and one tenth over and over and over. Okay. So the final thing we see is that it looks like we use two hops or two leaps from zero, one and two, to get to six tenths. You see that? And the answer to the question is, well, how many tenths are inside each hop? And so that's what I would count. So in this first hop, I see one, two, three. One, two, three. Three tenths are in this hop. Three tenths. And in this hop here, Let's see. I see uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. There's three hops inside of that. Um, <clears throat> inside of that, one big leap. One big leap. So that's three tenths. So that's the answer. Six tenths divided by two is three tenths. Zero and three tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and hit check. All right. All right. I've done two of the four problems. I'm not going to do any more. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have questions. 
use the video that says use a hint, get a hint or use a video, or go back and rewatch the videos from Sal if you're stuck. All right, a lot of options. And uh, I can't wait to see your work. I hope you do well, and let me know if you need anything. Okay, bye, thanks.